Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Haunt. Today, I'm breaking y'all. I'm bringing y'all actual breakdown video on how to guard rim runners in NBA 2K23. I'm gonna also give you my dribble moves, the defensive badges I use, and my defensive settings and all that towards the end of the video. I'm just gonna jump in and explain to y'all and break down to y'all how I guard people and the way I play defense. And yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Make sure y'all drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's all very much appreciated. Y'all requested a breakdown video like this where I like pause and show y'all and actually show y'all in depth. Y'all asked for this, so if it ends up turning out to be what y'all wanted, let me know. And if y'all end up thinking this video was helpful, let me know. But we're gonna jump straight into it. Now, this is some gameplay against a real rim runner. I saved a bunch of clips. This dude is rim running heavy. Now, I want to show y'all what he is playing like so y'all can see exactly what this dude is. He's a pure rim runner, exactly what you would expect a rim runner to be looking for the rim run the first play of the game. It's 0-0. Y'all just seen I forced him to pass. I left him butt naked to where he could even shoot, and he didn't want to shoot. Like, look, right here, this is perfect opportunity for him to hit a shot, and he doesn't even want to shoot. He just wants to rim run. So today I'm basically going to tell you how to guard these people that really don't shoot unless they're forced to or they start shooting once they get takeover. I mean, these defensive tips will help you play against anybody. People who can shoot good, people who can shoot bad. This dude just happened to not want to shoot at all, so I was playing him a certain way. So basically, the defensive strategy that I run is all based on what corner that center goes to so let me show y'all exactly what i mean right so the dude in the green hoodie is the one that's going to be isoing right now this dude in the silver white hoodie whatever he's on the left side so let me tell you exactly how you're going to play somebody who is isoing like this now me you guys are going to see immediately i start playing the right side i'm on the right of him and forcing as you guys can see right now, I'm playing the right side heavy. Now, he does have a lot of opportunities to shoot here. That's just because I was playing him a lot farther back because I knew he didn't want to shoot. So if you're going to play somebody, I'm going to tell you the strategy that I run. The first thing I do is take a couple steps back from the defender. Enough steps to where if they want to shoot, I can run up and get a contest. I have challenger, all that, so I could get a contest if they decide to shoot. But I'm far back enough to where I can stop the rim run easy. Now, the way I calculate the defense is I always play the opposite side that the center's on. So you guys see that center's on the left side and I'm playing the right side. What I'm doing right here is forcing him to go up the middle. And as you guys can see, look at Slurpee, my big man in the red right there. He is in perfect position to where I force him to the middle and once he goes up the middle, if I can't keep him boxed up the middle to get a stop, slurpee's in perfect position to get easy switches every single time so that's the way we like to shut off rim runners i'll play the opposite side which is baseline as you guys can see it would be the right side and i basically bait him to shoot play him back a little like i said but i could still close out if he decides to shoot and then on top of that i'm playing the right side so i'm forcing him up the middle and when i force him up the middle i can either cut him off and get a stop in the paint myself or I could just let the switch happen and let Slurpee take care of it. So as y'all can see, this defense is very rewarding, especially if you're playing against somebody that can shoot really good. Because if they can shoot really good and you're playing the right side of them, you're forcing them up the middle, it still gives Slurpee a perfect opportunity to switch. So you could play up a little high, stop the three point, and Slurpee will be right there in the middle to switch. So as you guys can see, that defensive strategy right there is what I like to run and that's mainly what I run against everybody because it's so hard to break down. Now I want to show y'all exactly how I force this dude to get multiple stops. He passes the ball again. Now he is forced to pass the ball so many times in this gameplay. He does end up scoring a couple buckets because I mean you can't stop everybody on rim run but as you guys can see shot clock violation. I was shutting off the baseline and the majority of the time I'm shutting off the baseline is getting me stops. Now, let me show y'all this, right? I think right here he makes a really contested layup because I did not play the baseline. No, actually, he just got a free two. All right. So, 
let me show y'all again this defensive strategy one more time and then we'll get into the badges and settings and everything so as you guys can see i'm immediately on the right side of him right so i'm playing the right side forcing him to go up the middle i'm playing the right super heavy and as you guys can see it just forces him to pass every single time i'm stopping him at least half the times he goes to the paint and forcing him to pass the ball out this is a whole nother shot clock violation i don't know if that was the same exact play that was the same exact play so i guess i'm not as smart as i thought i was but um let me see one more time as y'all can see i'm playing the right side playing the right side heavy basically forcing him to go up the middle he has to take over but me playing that right side look at that you see how i just cut off the baseline and he's forced to pass once again it's just easy stops man when you play people the way i'm telling y'all to play people you will get literally like unlimited stops playing against people so that's the way i like to play defense like i said i'll explain it one more time i will play the baseline so whatever side the the center is not in so if the center is in the left corner i'm playing the right baseline heavy and i'm a couple steps back to where i can stop him from shooting but at the same time I can stop him from rim running. I'm not just vulnerable to an easy two. Because if you play people tight, what people tend to do this year, play them high, they take a two. Play them low, they shoot a three. That's how people like to play. So playing like this is very neutral and it's very baity. And it really just helps you like just confuse the defender. And it's really nice because it... Like I said, if I'm playing against somebody that's super good, I could play a lot tighter and Slurpee will have my back on the switch every single time. So it's really reliable for either somebody who's just straight rim running or somebody who can shoot and rim run. So the defense, I love it. We've ran the same defensive strategy since we met and we've went on plenty of streaks. We went on 30s, 40s. We've went on countless numbers of streaks, beat countless numbers of people. And it's just, it's an insane defensive strategy once we actually lock in. So that's how we play defense. When it comes to my defensive badges, these are the defensive badges that I run on my 3 and D ISO guard. I don't run chase down because I'm not really a believer of getting chase down blocks. You can put it on if you have more badges. It is a very good badge. But me, I like to just be in front of somebody, get the stops, and play the D. You know what I mean? Pause. So these are my defensive badges. I'm going to show y'all my defensive settings. I have my... um defensive assist on like hold on i have my defensive assist strength on 15 so you guys could copy that if you'd like to who to guard you don't really need that on it's 50 50 it's completely up to y'all i end up guarding whoever is put on to me so well, on the twos court it doesn't really matter if you got it on or off but on the threes court i would prefer running it off so yeah, man, that's really it when it comes to today's video. I gave y'all the badges, gave y'all my defensive settings. I'll give y'all my dribble moves just in case y'all want them. And until the next time, man, your boy Hunt is out. I really appreciate y'all. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this more in-depth video on how to play defense. That's the defensive strategy me and Slurpee run to pretty much box every rim run guard. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought of it and any requests y'all might have for the channel. And until the next time, your boy Hunt is out.